this video, we'll be seeing how to send email from your PHP server. We'll be seeing how to add attachments to the email also. For that, you have to go to the website github.com slash php mailer and you can see this library. I will give the link to this on the description so you can check that out and then you can scroll down and you can see composer require php mailer slash php mailer. So let's copy this. In order to run this command, you need composer installed. If you don't have composer installed, simply search composer on Google and you have to select the first option and you can see download. So click on download and here you can see composer setup.exe. So simply download this and you can click next, next, next and complete the installation on Windows. So you also have to have PHP. So if you don't have PHP, simply install SAMP. So for that also, you can simply search SAMP and you can complete the installation by clicking next. Okay. So after installing Composer, you can run this command. So copy the command and you can come to the editor and open the terminal. You have to make sure that you are inside the exact folder of the project and then you can paste it here. So we are running the command Composer require PHP mailer slash PHP mailer. Now we have added the PHP mailer to our project. If you check the project folder, you can see that we are having a folder vendor and composer.json and inside the vendor, we are having autoload.php and also PHP mailer folder. Okay. So we have to require this autoload.php to the index.php file. So before that, you can go to the documentation again and you can scroll down and you can see a sample code. You can see the sample code here. So if you can scroll down, you can see all the necessary code to send an email using this library. So we can copy this. So click on here and we can copy the code and we can paste it here. So you can see that we are requiring the autoload.php from the vendor folder here. And we are also using the classes that is PHP mailer, SMTP and exception also from the library that we just imported. Okay. Then we are creating an instance for the class, creating a variable here, then remove this line. And here you can see that we are specifying that we are using the SMTP. Then here we have to give the SMTP details. If you don't have an SMTP server, simply purchase one from the internet and you have to use the details here. Okay. So here we have to give the host name and here give the username and the username will be a email. So give the email here. Then here we have to give the password to this email account. Okay. That's all. Okay. After that, the port will not change. I guess if the port is different, you have to give a different port. Okay. So you have to make sure that the details that you give here are actually matching with the details that your SMTP provider gave. Okay. Then you can come here and here we can give the from address. So let's change the details here. We can give a name for the sender. And this is one for adding the receiver. So we can give the receiver's email here. You can also give the receiver's name here. So here we have to give the receiver's email and here the name of the receiver. Then here we can see a line. This is also for adding the receiver. So let's remove that line. We'll be adding one receiver. And this one is the reply to email address. So you can add any other email address if you want the users to reply to a different email here. And we can give a name. And if you want to add CC and BCC, you can add that here. I'm not adding this right now. So if you want to add, you can add that. Then here we have to attach the media if you have any attachment to add to the email. So for now, we'll be sending an image file through the email. So let's download the image file. You can see that I have added a folder assets and inside that I have placed an image. So you can see this is an SVG image. Okay, so we'll be sending this SVG image through the email. So you can specify the path here. 
so the path is assets slash the folder name so let's copy the folder name and we can paste the file name here okay then if you want to give a different name for the file you can give the name like this so in this line you can see that we are passing the path and also the name for the file so let's give a name for the file okay we can remove the second line okay so we have attached the file to the email then here we have the content part so we have set the html part this will say that the email is set to html okay then we can type the html here so this is the body of the email and this is the subject if you want to change the subject you can change it so we are going to test this so i won't be changing the content for now okay if you want to change you can change all the content here according to your wish and here we are calling the send function and this will return true or false according to the process is success or not okay then we are simply echoing message has been sent if any exception happens we are showing an error message also okay so that's what this code means okay hope you understand now we can try running this so before running i'll be changing this details here to one that i have so i won't be showing the details of the smtp server so i have changed the smtp details of my server and now we can try running this file now you can see that i have opened the project here so i have opened it inside the samp so localhost slash php mailer so you can see it is sending the email that's why it is taking time so you can see the message message has been sent okay now we can go to the email that is support at codecc.com and check if the email was received so i just noticed that i have made a mistake with the email address so the email address is c o d e s e a s y okay dot com okay so this is the two address okay let's save it and run it once more so now i have refreshed the page and the email was sent once more so let's go to the email and check it so the email was received you can see the subject here and if you click here you can see from where it was sent and the reply to email address and also you can see the email server and also the send to email address etc so here you can see the body of the email and this was in html you can see this in bold so this one is the attachment that we added so if you try to download this you can see this is the same file that we just sent through the email okay so hope you understand so that's all with the implementation part so hope you understand how to send an email with an attachment so we have done it on php if you have any doubts you can leave a comment below and i will respond to that if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos